Hi everyone, welcome to Self Image 2023. My name is Amanda Ong and I'm 28 years old this year. Little me, here are some things I wanna say, even though you may look the other way. It's my thoughts about your future, it may sound just like a lecture, well, it's unlikely that you'll hear me anyway. At the end of last year, we found out that we were gonna be struggling with infertility. So this year, we had two IVF cycles. The first one ended up in a biochemical pregnancy at week 6 and the second one is this current pregnancy. And we're hoping that we'll make it to the end. Vocal Village has also kicked off a bunch more events. We have held four events this year, one in each quarter, and the attendance has just been going up and up and it really brings me joy to bring the community together. Because of the two rounds of IVF, I've stopped going for pole classes and I've also stopped bouldering since pregnancy for real these and that has left me with little to no exercise so I'm looking to start something new uh, maybe prenatal yoga or just Bollywood Zumba or something this was the year that I started bouldering weekly for most weeks I would do it on Sunday afternoons with a group of friends so I'm really sad that I've had to stop it because of this pregnancy but of course whatever keeps the baby healthy I've only released one song this year and it's titled Dear Me which is most likely the instrumental you're hearing right now I didn't really plan for many releases this year probably because of the IVF cycles and I kind of had to plan my whole life around the IVF cycles so that is mostly what's been happening this year internally because I've been keeping that a secret from many people as well but I'm finally ready to share, so that's why this is in the video. I've attended five weddings, Jinping's and Eunice's, Ming Xiang's and Yening's, Jaira's and Faye's over Zoom, Trevor's and Kara's, Norman and Steph's. This is just a record of the weddings I've attended. New Recording 47 got to perform overseas and that is amazing because the opportunity came to us instead of me searching for it and that was also my first time in Vietnam and it means that we are performing on bigger stages um, not just Vietnam, but we also got to perform at the Esplanade Outdoor Theatre this year which is one of the stages I've always wanted to perform on and we got to do it on 9th August, 4th and 9th August but on National Day, we had the best view of the fireworks New Recording 47 also performed a Ben King song with Ben King at the Tin Box Anniversary event and that's because the boss of Tin Box Group saw one of our videos that we would love to perform with Ben King and he actually requested to see if Ben King would do one with us and Ben King said yes. I'm so glad that I got to do so many things with New Recording 47 this year. We burned out and we recalibrated and now we're doing things at a slower pace but it's a pace that we all can handle and that is where we like to be. So goals for 2024, I would like to birth a child, preferably this one, I can't wait. My pants don't fit anymore. I would also like to release my EP of songs that I wrote in this infertility journey. I don't know what to name it yet. I have a song that I wrote about the first IVF cycle, how anxious it made me feel, how anxious it makes all the ladies feel. Um, and then I have one song about losing something close to you, which I guess would be the miscarriage. And then I wrote a last song to announce the pregnancy. I'm that extra and maybe I'll write another one when this child is born but we'll see for next year. I don't really have too many plans for next year. Hopefully we get our BTO early, like really really early and then we can not live in this small house for so long with an extra person and so my mom can just come back anytime she wants and the sleeping arrangements won't be so messy. Yeah, so next year I'll have to embark on designing a house, thinking about what to do during the confinement period, how to raise a child, things to buy for the child. I don't know, there's so many new things that I'm going to be embarking on next year. I also can't plan too much because I don't know how busy I'll be with the child and I don't want to say yes to too many things that I have to cancel later. So for now, I just want to release those three songs. I just want to birth this child. And I want to be happy, that's all. This is my home.
This is the view from my home. These are my favorite clothes. This is my husband. This is my mom. This is my dad. This is my brother. These are the people who know me best on a daily basis. And this is me in 2023.